every business that runs around so is it be it a transport sector a food chain it all depends on the mind So Solwezi before the mining uh, boom was an, uh, basically an outpost. But I've heard a bit about the history of the town, that it was really just a provincial government administration. The one main street, a few government departments. It was a very small rural town with very little development. A very sparse infrastructure. Very small population, I believe below 100,000 people at that time. Uh, everybody knew where it was, but nobody wanted to go there. First Condo Minerals first came here uh, in 2003. My nephew was visiting uh, from Zambia. He was telling us uh, about how Zambia is booming, particularly in Sulawesi. You know, he was mentioning about how the mines have um, started uh, mining in, in Sulawesi and everyone, you know, from, you know, Lusaka where he came from and um, Copa Belt and Southern Province and they were all looking forward to coming to set up something in Sulawesi. So it was more or less like a gold rush. So suddenly there was a, a, a bustle, you know, around town, everybody started getting jobs, you know, with the contractors that were building the mine. So the economic activity started picking up from construction phase. Banks were flocking to, to the area because miners were getting salaries now, needed to open accounts, and companies were coming to Solwezi, suppliers and so on. The first thing that changed was the main street of Solwezi became something different, totally different. There were new shops. And I think suddenly the population must have risen to almost 200,000 because everybody wanted a piece of this cake. They suddenly had um, uh, income that were never prevalent in the community before. There are about 9,000 or just under 9,000 employees come onto the mine every day. They have a huge impact on the economy of the Northwest Province and Solwezi in particular. Um, obviously, they are buying food and goods, they're also renting houses, they're sending their children to school. There's a trickle down effect, obviously with the mine being very active now, a full throttle, you know, there's a lot of support services, a lot of contractors, a lot of business people that have opened up in town, restaurants and, you know, shopping malls. All these have come off the back of the mine, you know. So West City Mall has provided jobs to the locals. Uh, you would realize that out of the 30, 30, four, five shops that we have, it all has local uh, people that are working in there. Employment has exploded. Um, so we not only have uh, new mines and new employment in the mines, we also have new hotels. We employ about just over 60 uh, people. Uh, we benefited, they've also benefited from us. So it's, it's, it's really wonderful and I think that's the way to go. That you know, We benefit from somewhere, they benefit from us, and it's the chain it goes on. But now you can just walk into any store I mean, you can come into Zoe City Mall and get everything. You can get a haircut, get a chinos, you can get your food, buy your sugar, and get medicine. Everything is here. That airport, I used to call it airstrip. With a 1,200 metre runway, uh, we were very constrained with what aircraft we could fly in and out of there. But when uh, the mines opened, uh, the runway was redone by the mines there and the big aeroplanes started going to Sulawesi. With the advent of the new wave of mining in Sulawesi, that the requirement grew to actually build that airfield. That airport can handle Boeing 737, did you know that? Sulawesi has grown, the airport has grown, and the mining activities are getting you know, bigger and bigger every, every, every day, let me say. And we believe that uh, the Solwezi Airport, uh, having been built to international standard, now becomes the trigger point for that diversification which we need in this area. Well, the first benefit obviously Osaka gets is it's the hub of all the tax revenue, a province accounting for uh, 
60 to 65 percent of copper production is obviously a sizable chunk of revenue coming into Lusaka, uh, which then generates the spin offs from government operations, from uh, all the um, associated infrastructure that the government is building. When the mines do well, Soloisi does well. And not only Soloisi, but uh, people are also coming from uh, far away as, as far as Lusaka, you know, Copper Belt, Southern Province, you know. Um, so they all, they all benefit, we all benefit. So Soloisi is now uh, far from being the outpost it was 10, 15 years ago, it's now a major commercial center in Zambia. 